He was stranded in a tiny town on Fair Prince Edward Island, waiting for a ship to come and find him. A one horse place, a friendly face, some coffee, and a tiny trace of fiddling in the distance far behind him. And a dime across the counter then, a shy hello, a brand new friend, and a walk along the street in the wintry weather. A yellow light, an open door, and a welcome friends, there's room for more, and then they're standing there inside together. He said, I've heard that tune before somewhere, but I can't remember when. Was it on some other friendly shore? Did I hear it in the wind? Was it written on the sky above? I think I heard it from someone I love, but I haven't heard a tune so sweet since then. says, I'll take your hat. He's caught up in the magic of her smile. Then leaped the heart with and went as off across the floor. He sent his clumsy body graceful as a child. He said, there's magic in the fiddler's arm. There's magic in this town. There's magic in the dancer's feet and the way to put them down. People smiling everywhere. Boots and ribbons, locks of hair. Laughter, old blue suits and Easter gowns. The room is bare, the old piano sitting there Someone's hat's left hanging on the bar The empty chairs, the wooden floor That feels the touch of shoes no more Waiting for the dancers to come by And the fiddle's in the closet of some daughter of the town The strings are broke, the bow is gone And the cover's buttoned down and Sometimes on December nights When the air is cold and the wind is right There's a melody that passes through Meet the lads. This is Declan on the keyboards over here. <laughs> Geraldine on the cello. Hasn't played anything yet, but she will. Martin Murray on the fiddle. <laughs> He's usually on the fiddle. <laughs> Paul Grant on the guitar. <laughs> and I'm Liam. Hi. Probably one of the most requested songs that uh, I've done over the years has been a song written by Ewan McCall. It's a lovely song. He did it for a program on the BBC called Singing the Fishing. And what he did to make the song was that he took the words, he tape recorded all the old fishermen up along the uh, east coast of England. And he never used one word of his own or one line of his own. All he did was he rhymed the lines that the fishermen had given him. And he made it into a song called The Shoals of Herring. With our nets and gear we're fair On the wild and wasteful ocean It's out there on the deep that we harvest and reap our bread. As we hunt the bunny shores of hell. 
It was on a fair and a pleasant day Out of Yarmouth Harbour I was failing As a cabin boy or the sailing lover For to hunt the bunny shoals of heaven Oh, we left the home grounds in the month of June And for canny shields we soon were bearing with a hundred crown of the silver darlings that we'd taken from the shoals of hell. Now the work was hard and the hours were long, and the treatment sure it took some pain. And I used to sleep standing on my feet, and I dream about the shoals of hell. You're up on deck, you're a fisherman And you're learning all about seafaring That's your education, scraps of navigation As you hunt the bunny shoals of herring In the stormy seas and the living gales I earned the gear that I was wearing Sail ten thousand miles, caught ten million fishes as we hunted for the shores of hell. And it's night and day we're failing. Come winter wave or winter gale. Wetting our cold, growing up, growing old, or dying. As we hunt the bunny shores of hell. I love some of the Scottish songs. I'm very fond of the Scottish songs and poetry, particularly the poetry of Robert Burns. He's one of my favorite poets, one of my favorite people in, in all of literature. He was a wild man for the women, you know, and uh, he was called the Plowman Poet, but he spent an awful lot of time over the ditch, I know that. <laughs> Back in his home place in Ayr in Scotland, they still say about Burns, <laughs> Robbie is a wild one. If you threw a stone over a ditch and hit a child, more than likely it would be one of his own. <laughs> Who could dislike a man like that? But he made some of the most profound statements in all of English literature. And he was so articulate about it too. He said one time when he ran through a mouse's nest with a, with a plow, and it lay there broken on the ground and winter coming on, and he was wondering what is the little mouse and its family going to do? And he said, listen to this incredible English. We sleek it, cowering, timorous beastie. Oh, what a panic and the breastie. You need to start to wash so hasty with bicker and brattle. I would be laid to run and chase they with murder and paddle. I'm truly sorry that man's dominion has broken nature's social union and justifies the ill opinion which makes thee start like me, thy poor earth-born companion and fellow mortal. He said that. You don't believe that, Dick. <laughs> of course, he also said, man's inhumanity to man makes countless thousands more. Great poetry. Nothing to do with Robbie Burns, a little song called the Locked Tape Boat Song. <laughs> I've done my work of day And I roll my boat away O'er the waters of Loch Tay As the evening sun is setting And I gaze upon Ben Lloyd's 
where the afterglory glows, and I think unto bright eyes and the melting mouth below. She's my beauteous Nymphie, my joy and sorrow. I cannot live without her for my heart's hold in tone and I'd give the world to know why she needs to let me go as I sing I read her And rue your lovely hair has more glamour and decay than all the tresses between Killeen and Aberfell. May they lint white, brown, or gold, may they blacker than the snow. They're no more worth to me than the melting flame of snow. And her eyes are like the gleam of the sunlight on the spring. And the songs the fairy sing seem like songs she sings at melting. But my heart is full. For last night she bent And the tears begin to flow As I sing Did I ever tell you about my Uncle Dick? My Uncle Dick, he, well, he talked kind of funny, too, because he come from Boone, North Carolina, you know? He real old when he died. Before he died, he sent me a song on a cassette tape all about his life. And, well, you know, he, he had never taken a drink in his life. He, he didn't drink. He didn't smoke. He didn't go with bad women. He might as well have been dead. I mean, he was just like Declan here, you know. All, none of them things ever crossed his mind. But when he discovered what he'd been missing when he was 80, he decided he, he just refused to die. He wanted to test everything. And this is a song that he sent to me on a cassette tape about his whole life, and I'm going to give it to you. And you all are going to sing it with me now, I know. It says, it's never too late to start living to get out and have some fun. The sun will be just as shiny in the morning as the first day the world begun. God damn, I love that chord. I just... Oh, 
I did. Well, he said, like I say, it was real old, so he sang it kind of crusty like this. Oh, it's never too late to start living To get out and have some fun The sun will be just as shiny in the morning As the first day of the world begun Next time around, I know that y'all gonna sing it. When I was 80, I started smoking Took to drinking at 85 At 90, I started courting Thank God that I was alive At 95, I took to the gambling Determined to rake in the pile At 100, I made my first million Whoopee Man, to started living in style Oh, here she comes It's never too late to start living To get out and have some fun Oh, the sun will be just as shiny in the morning As the first day of the world will be Well, I moved to an uptown penthouse Use fifties to light my cigar Developed a taste for fine champagne And drove fast Italian cars But the doctor, he gave me a warning And a lecture on right and wrong If I didn't give up my sinful ways I couldn't live very long I said to him, I said It's never too late to start living Get out and have some fun The sun will be just as shiny in the morning As the first day of the world will be done It's real sad from here on in now now I'm a 200-year-old alcoholic <laughs> And the nicotine's caught up on me But worst of all, in this morning's mail I got a suit for paternity <laughs> But I'm not really unhappy Cause maybe I'll have me a son And his mornings will be just as shiny As the first day the world begun Oh, here it comes <laughs> It's never too late to start living To get out and have some fun The sun will be just as shiny in the morning as the first day of the world once like you mean it Oh, it's never too late to start living To get out and have some fun The sun will be just as shiny in the morning As the first day of the world begun I'm digging it up!
Red is the rose that in yonder garden grows. Fair is the lily of the valley. Clear is the water that flows from the boyne. But my love is fairer than any. God's creatures got a place to the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire and some just... 
clap their hands or paws or anything. Anything you've got, you clap. Anything. Oh. Yo ya ke koya. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands, paws, or anything they got. Now all God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands, paws, or anything they got. Now. Listen to the bass, it's the one on the bottom where the bullfrog croaks and the hippopotamus moans and groans with the big to do. And the old cow just goes boo. The dogs and the cats, they take off the middle where the honeybee hums and the cricket fiddles, the donkey brays and the pony neighs. And the old red badger sighs. Oh, all that screech got a face in the choir. Some sing alone, some sing higher, some sing out alone on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands, paws are under than the gun now. Listen to the top of the little bird singing on the melodies and the high notes ringing and the hoot owl cries over everything and the blackbird disagrees. Singing in the night time, singing in the day, the little duck quacks and he's on his way. The otter hasn't got much to say and the porcupine talks to himself. Oh, all that's preached got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Just up their hands, paws are under than the gun now. It's a simple song, a living song everywhere By the ox and the fox and the grizzly bear The grumpy alligator and the hog above The sly old weasel and the turtle dove All God's creatures got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone wire Some just clap their hands, paws are rather than the gut Now all God's creatures got a place in the choir Some sing low, some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone wire Some just clap their hands, paws are rather than the gut Now This is, this is a real song. It's about an old couple who uh, know what love is all about because their love has been tempered by the tough times as well as the good times. And there's an awful lot of friendship gone into their love, which is really what it's all about in the long run when everything else gives out. Right, Paul? <laughs> the old man is... So we say down in Tipperary, he's away with the fairies. His wife, Margaret, is a great bird. I love her. She follows him in the day when he can't find his way home. She leads him back through the cobbled streets of Amsterdam. What I like best about her is always in the cold of the evening, she puts a little whiskey in his tea to warm him up and cheer him up. You can take all the romantic songs that you want, but to me, that is a love song. Whiskey and the tea is great. <laughs> the chorus, if you want to sing it nice and quietly with us, says, let us go to the banks of the ocean where the walls rise above the Zyder Sea. Long ago, I used to be a young man. And dear Margaret remembers that for me. He's called the Dutchman. Dutchman is not the kind of man to keep his thumb jammed in the dam that holds his dreams in. But that's a secret only Margaret knows. When Amsterdam is golden in the morning, Margaret brings him breakfast. She believes him. He thinks the tulips bloom beneath the snow He's mad as he can be But Margaret only sees that sometimes Sometimes she sees her unborn children in his eyes 
Let us go to the banks of the ocean Where the walls rise above the Zyber's Eve Long ago I used to be a young man And dear Margaret remembers that free Dutchman still wears wooden shoes, his cap and coat are patched with love that Margaret sewed in. Sometimes he thinks he's still in Rotterdam. He watches tugboats down canals and calls out to them when he thinks he knows the captain. Till Margaret comes to take him home again through unforgiving streets that trip him though she holds his arm sometimes he thinks that he's alone and he calls her name let us go to the banks of the ocean where the walls rise above the Zyber's I used to be a young man And dear Margaret remembers that The windmills swirl the winter in She winds his muffler tighter They sit in the kitchen The tea with whiskey keeps away the dew He sees her for a moment, calls her name She makes his bed up, humming some old love song She learned it when the tune was very new He hums a line or two, they hum together in the night The Dutchman falls asleep Margaret blows the candle on. Let us go to the banks of the ocean Where the walls rise above the Zyber's Eve Long ago I used to be a young man And dear Margaret remember Let us go to the banks of the ocean Where the walls rise above the Zyber's Eve Long ago I used to be a young man And your Margaret remembers that Way back in the 60s, my brothers and myself and Tommy Makeham had a kind of a hit with a song called The Irish Rover. And I was delighted to see friends of ours, the Dubliners and the Pogues coming out with this again and going to the top of the charts with the thing. Wasn't that amazing? Such a great old clinker of a song. But uh, they were performing, the Pogues, of course, originally called the Pogue Mahones, you know that. They performed in Boston at Symphony Hall and the reviewer from the Boston Globe, which is a rather stuffy paper. The only way to describe them, he said, is a cross between the Clancy Brothers and the Sex Pistols. <laughs> it was an interesting piece of cross-pollination there. Here's the song they sang. There's a line in here somewhere. See if you can find it. In the year of our Lord, 1806, we set sail from the cold day of we were sailing away with a cargo of bricks for the Grand City Hall in New York. We'd an elegant craft, she was rigged fore and aft, and how the trade winds drove her, she had 
23 mass She stood several blasts They called her the There was Barney McGee From the banks of the Lee We had Hogan from County Tyrone There was Johnny McGurk Who was scared stiff of work And a chap from Westmead named Malone We had Slugger O'Toole Who was drunk as a rule And fighting Bill Tracy from McCann, from the banks of the van was the skipper on the We had one million bags of the best Ligo rags We had two million barrels of bone We had three million bales of our nanny goat's tails We had four million barrels of stone We had five million hogs eye and six million dogs Seven million barrels of of our blind horses' heights in the hold of the We had sailed seven years when the measles broke out and our ship lost her way in a fog. Hey, wait a minute. What? But you had one line, one line, and you blew it. Great fog. Come on, we tried again. We had sailed seven years when the measles broke out and our ship lost her way in a fog. And the wicked <laughs> was reduced down to two Myself and the captain's old dog, Big Dog The ship's from a rock, all large water shock And nearly tumbled over Turned nine times around And the poor old dog was drowned <laughs> I'm the last of the Irish frogs Right, I'm going to see you the band played Waltz and Matilda. <laughs> if I can get this Japanese guitar in tune. Oh, God. I wonder if the edge ever has problems like this. The only way to tune Japanese guitars, I've discovered, is to sing to them. Twisting the knobs doesn't work. Yo yake ko yake de iga kore te Yama no o terra no kane ganaru O te te tsona ide mi na kairo Karasu to isho ni kaherimashou It works. <laughs> it's a very angry song written about the Great War or the 1914-18 war. It was called the Great War back before they started numbering them. At the time it was going on, let me just tell you a little bit about, about what was happening. We were told, uh, I mean historically, we were told that we were fighting for the freedom of small nations. In actual fact, to this day, nobody knows what the hell the First World War was fought for. Something about the Kaiser and somebody being shot, you know. Millions and millions and millions of young men lost their lives in that. Yates was living in Dublin at the time, and he was very, of course, founding the Abbey Theatre with Lady Gregory. Her son joined up, Robert Gregory. He joined up and he went, uh, he became an airman. Yates wrote a famous poem called An Irish Airman Foresees His Death. <clears throat> he was shot down after about, I think, something like uh, 15, 20 minutes in the air. He was shot down over Italy, and he's buried there. In the meantime, the Black and Tans had come to Ireland to quell the rebellion. And the atrocities that they committed out in 
the west of Ireland where Le Lady Gregory was living have, have to be read in her journals to be believed, where they took young men from their houses, shot them in front of their parents, or tied them to the back of trucks, lorries, by the feet, and drove them over rough country roads until their heads were worn off. Yeats wrote this letter by way of a poem to young Robert Gregory, who was already dead in Italy. Some 19 German planes, they say you had brought down before you died. We called it a good day. Today can ghost or man be satisfied. Although your last exciting year outweighed all other years, you said, though battle joy may be so dear a memory even to the dead, it chases other thought away. You rise from your Italian tomb, flit to Kiltartan Cross, and stay till certain second thoughts have come upon the cause you served that we imagine such a fine affair. Half drunk or whole mad soldiery are murdering your tenants there, men who revere your father yet are shot down now on the open plain. Where may new married women sit and suckle children now? Armed men may murder them in passing by, nor law, nor parliament take heed. And then close your eyes with dust and lie among the other cheated dead. Now when I was a young man, I carried my pack and I lived the free life over the road. From the Murray's green basin to the dusty our back, I waltz my Matilda all over. And in 1915, my country said, son, it's time to stop rambling, there's work to be done. So they gave me a tin hat and they gave me a gun and they sent me And the band played waltzing Matilda As the ship pulled away from the quay Amid all the tears, flag waving and cheers We sail off for Galilee Well I remember that terrible day our blood stain the sand and the water And how in that hell that they called Souvla Bay We were butchered like lambs at the slaughter Johnny Turk, he was ready, oh he primed himself well He rained us with bullets and he showered us with shell And in five minutes flat blow us back home to Australia and the band played waltzing Matilda when we stopped to bury our slain and we buried ours and the Turks buried theirs and it started all over again though who are living just try to survive in that mad world of blood, death, and fire. And for ten weary weeks, I kept myself alive. Though around me, the corpses piled higher. Then a big turkey shell knocked my arse overhead. And when I awoke, in my hospital bed and saw what it had done and I wished I were dead I never knew there were worse things than dying for no more I'll go waltzing all around the green bush far and near for to 
content and pace A man needs both legs No more waltzing to lose The collector, the wounded, the crippled, the maimed They shipped us back home to Australia The armless, the legless the blind, the insane, those proud, wounded heroes of Sula. And when the ship pulled into Circular Key, I looked at the place where my legs used to be. And thank Christ, there was no one there waiting. And the band played waltzing Matilda As they carried us down the gangway Nobody cheered They just stood there and stared And they turned all their faces away So now, every April I sit on my porch And I watch the parade pass before me And I see my old comrades How proudly they march Renewing their dreams of past glory I see the old men All tired, stiff and sore The weary old heroes Of a forgotten by the billabong. 